important to know uh, the exact location of the kidney in relation to the rib cage and the vertebral column because uh, the surface marking plays a pivotal role in uh, surgery. So, and also in palpating uh, different organs uh, in the abdominal cavity and the thoracic cavity. It's important to, to know the surface marking. So for that, I have a drawing in front of you. This is showing us the, the posterior aspect uh, or the dorsal aspect of uh, the vertebral column that includes the rib cage in the thoracic region. So here you can see uh, the 10th rib, the 10th pair of rib is attached to the 10th thoracic vertebra. And by the way, this is the back of the thoracic and the lumbar vertebrae. So we are viewing, we are looking at the body from behind. That's why the kidneys are under our view, because we just have, uh, we just have seen in the specimen that if we look from front, it, if we look from anterior, the, the kidneys are completely obscured. They are hidden behind the uh, abdominal viscera. So we are looking for the kidneys from behind. The, the right and left kidneys, although they, they appear similar in shape, but by position, they are slightly at different levels. So if you are looking at me, this is me, and you are looking, this is my face, and this is my back. So you are looking at me from behind. So this is my right and my left. When you are looking at me from behind, my right, my right will become left and my left will become right. So this is the left kidney and this is the right kidney, okay? So first we'll take the right kidney. The, the right kidney is at a lower level. Why? Because the liver is forcing it to stay at a lower level because the liver is occupying majority of the right hypochondrium or the right side of the abdominal cavity. So the, the upper pole or the superior pole of the, the right kidney is just touching the 11th rib. The 11th rib is not covering the kidney entirely. It's the, the upper pole is, which is in contact with the, uh, the, right, uh, the uh, 11th rib. Then you can see that the 12th rib, well, by the way, both of these ribs are known as the floating ribs because they never reach up to the front and they never reach the costal uh, margin or the costal cartilages. So they just end up like small specks. So the 12th rib is covering the, the right kidney uh, in its middle, uh, or the upper part rather. And the, so the superior pole is at the level of T11, and it's been touched by the, the, the lower border of the 11th rib. The inferior pole, or the lower pole of the right kidney, is reaching up to the body of the, the third lumbar vertebra, or L3. While um, I will be talking about this region, which is known as the hilus, renal hilus or the hilum of the kidney, which is the doorway to the kidney. And that is lying uh, at a certain level and it, it holds a very important significance. Now look at the left kidney. The left kidney is higher when it, talk, when we, it comes to the vertebral level it's higher. Why? Because there is no liver present on the, left side, on the left side. It's the stomach and the spleen. So the, the left kidney is reaching above the level of the 11th rib. So the, it, the left kidney, the posterior surface of the left kidney has been covered by both of the floating ribs, 11th and 12th. It's that means it, the left kidney is, is, as compared to the right kidney, is more protected by the rib cage. Its upper pole is crossing the 11th rib, and its lower or inferior pole is reaching up to the level of L2, or the body of the second lumbar vertebra. Here in front of us, there is a blue colored line bisecting the vertebral column. This is known as the transpyloric plane. 
Why? It's known as trans because it's transversely running. Pyloric means that it's really it's bisecting the pyloric end of a stomach horizontally or transversely. So it's an imaginary plane that we have drawn. And we, like mostly the surgeons, they are using the, this plane as a landmark. As, as an important landmark. So you look at the hyla of both kidneys. The, the hilum of the right kidney or the renal pelvis is slightly lower than the level of transpyloric plane. By the way, the transpyloric plane is, is running over the L1, the first lumbar vertebra, as you can see. So the hilum of the right kidney is slightly below the level of transpyloric plane, while the hilum of the left kidney is at the level of transpyloric plane. There are many other abdominal viscera that we will be describing in relation to this transpyloric plane. All right, so we have to understand that the difference between the right and left kidneys, when we talk about the surface marking, the right kidney is just covered posteriorly, it's covered by the 12th rib. While the left kidney is posteriorly covered by, it's, it comes under the cover of 11th and 12th both ribs. While the hilum of the right kidney is below the level of transpyloric plane, at, at the same time, the, the, the hilum of the, the left kidney is at the level of transpyloric plane. Both the kidneys are almost five centimeters away. They're lying five centimeters away from the vertebral column or the midline, okay? Each kidney, and we just have seen on the original specimen that they are flanking the vertebral column and they are lying five centimeters lateral to the vertebral column.